literally can't wait until May the 19th when Harry and Meghan are tying the knot. But three people are not on the invite list. Well, four including me. <laughs> I give up. Uh, Theresa May, Donald Trump and Barack Obama, they are NFI. Not huh? flipping invited. <laughs> <laughs> I changed the flipping. <laughs> um, so, uh, <laughs> will you be there, Janet? No, I haven't been invited. No way. No. I know. <gasps> They're lost. I know? mean, would you go if you were invited? No! <laughs> <laughs> I've got no connection with Harry and Meghan. I hope they have a nice day, but I'll be on a beach somewhere. <laughs> Paddling. <laughs> well, we watch it when it's on telly and... No. <laughs> no. I love a good wedding. I mean, I don't... Is it weird that Theresa May's not going? I can't imagine that her and Meghan and Harry are all friends. Do you know what I mean? No, yeah. <laughs> More it's like her mum's mate. Friends. <laughs> it's because Harry has moved down the pecking order. As Kate and William produce offspring, then Harry moves down the pecking order, so he's not that near to be being the person that actually sits on the throne with the crown, so he doesn't have to so invite So does that mean that Will was told who he, was, who he had to invite and now Harry can invite who he wants to invite? Yeah, well, that's actually, nice. fair play to him. He is inviting some very interesting people, people who do charity work and so on. So although... You know, I don't care whether I go or not. I think a lot of people who really do deserve to go have been invited. Yeah. So that's me being nice. <laughs>